calling people sexy, 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 cute, Luevi. Oh, hello there. My ideal style of dress. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I have been, oh, hello. Hello there. Do you could like looking down at me, staring at me, being like, get me involved. What do you want? Do you want to go to sleep? Yeah. Off you go. Off you go. Go to sleep somewhere on the bed. Be good. Find a spot. Take your time. It's not like we're filming a haul or anything. Oh, you want to come on my lap? All right, go on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on, on my lap. On my lap. Make up your mind. That'd be great. Okay. Oh, you're going down. You have five seconds or you're going on the floor. Five. Four. Three. Two. Two and a half. Two and three quarters. Two and a quarter. <laughs> I counted the wrong way, didn't I? We're like on minus 100 now, mate. This is how long it takes it to get comfortable. <laughs> We're rolling, people. We are rolling. It's whole time. The whole time has come. I made a promise to myself in Christmas that I wasn't going to buy any clothing in January. It's now mid-February. I've kept that promise. I have made up for that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I bought quite a few things that are new season that I've been dying to show you. And as you know, I love working with my Therese. I work with them a lot. I shop with them a lot personally. And so I was very excited to show you my new in bits from my Teresa. I do have a pair of shoes, a really special pair of shoes that I don't know if I should show you at the beginning or the end. Maybe I'll just show you now. Maybe I'll show you now. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen these today on my Instagram. We all know what this brown box means. Now, the Bhutans are one of my favorite brands. My Teresa stocked them. They do not only stock them, they actually stock an amazing selection of them. And I saw these, oh, sorry, that was my dog snoring. <laughs> I saw these and I fell in love with them. I don't own a pair of red shoes. I own like a dark, dark red. It's more like a burgundy really. But just wait till you see these because they are fabuloso people. They are so beautiful and I really wanted a pair of red, red shoes. And not only are they red, I'm still keeping them in the box, I haven't worn them yet. But they have a beautiful bow at the back. Look at this shoe. It isn't a pigal, it's kind of shaped like a pigal in that kind of pointy Louboutin style. Super high heel, relatively high I would say actually. I'll leave the inches on the screen here. I actually sized down in these, half a size than my usual Louboutin size but they are a beautiful beautiful suede I'm gonna wait till it's not raining in London we've had storm was it Ciara storm Dennis we've had all the storms so these are staying in the box until the storms are over <laughs> but they're stunning they're absolutely stunning I am a huge shoe gal and I love the bows on these I just feel like they're so sweet at the back they're like sexy 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 cute Sexy, 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 cute. You turn around and it's like, oh, I'm cute. <laughs> now, you may know that Isabella and I record our podcast, What I Know Now, once a week. You can go check it out. My latest episode was talking about the modern world of dating and apps. But when we record our podcasts, I always end up wanting what she's wearing. The Alaya bag I bought from my Teresa, she has in yellow. <laughs> we just end up spending a lot of time together, staring at each other, like doing half an hour recordings that I always end up wanting what she wears. And she came in the other day with a really cool leather jacket on, jeans, and a polo Ralph Lauren jumper. I think hers might have been the cashmere one with the cute little teddy on it. If you don't know what I mean, I went on my Teresa, obviously they have them in stock, and it's the sweetest jumper ever. They also had a white hoodie. It's really soft inside, like really, really snugly and soft, but I fell in love with a little teddy on it. You guys know I normally have a teddy on my bed, which is now on the floor because I felt like the teddy looked a bit weird on my bed, and Duke always tries to do naughty things to him, so I take him off, but I love teddies, and I feel like this jumper is so 
me and so snug and really cool like i loved how isabella wore it with literally with a denim jacket and jeans and it just looked really cool and great for every day oh hello there it's so sunny in london i can't see you through all the storms and the sun oh, i love these sunglasses aren't they amazing i feel like these are the perfect sunglasses to wear like this do they suit me do the shape suit me please let me know down below I really love them. I feel like also I don't have enough sturdy sunglasses that I can wear on the top of my head. All my sunglasses are really, really thin, like metal ones, most of them anyway. And I love wearing sunglasses to like hold back my hair like that. But I love the tortoiseshell vibes of these. These are beautiful Mew Mew babies. Not only when you order Mew Mew sunglasses are they Mew Mew sunglasses, but the case that they come in is this beautiful pink velvet with this gorgeous pink little pouch i'll link these and everything i'm talking about down below as always <laughs> i had to do that that was fun oh i'm lame but i don't really want to take these off i mean i will but i don't want to i love them what do we think of these should i post these on my stories yes or no okay i'm gonna take these off definitely keeping these i think i just saw my boomerang that i wanted to put on my stories and i was like I mean, I'm gonna let people vote, but I still like them. <laughs> okay, let me put these not on my head. I feel like they're gonna distract me. The next thing I wanted to show you was a Prada hair clip. Now, I saw the Gucci one of this last season, but I ended up returning it. And I'm really happy I did now that I see this Prada one because I much prefer this. I know designer hair clips are very hit and miss, but I feel like if you love dressing up your hair and really exciting things then this will excite you i'm very into tortoiseshell at the moment as you can see this is a beautiful tortoiseshell hair clip and i always see instagrammers that i follow putting them in their hair like this and they look so great i mean let's ignore the my Teresa tag there <laughs> but what do you guys think they are a pricey item are they worth it? I feel like these are the kind of things, like my mum's hair accessories that she used to wear back in the day. She's all kept in perfect condition for my sister and I, and we still both love them. And even her bags, her shoes, everything, and I feel like this is one of those pieces that you would be able to keep in amazing condition and either sell it if you wanted to, or hand it down, or give it to someone. So I do feel like it is a really, really special piece I think I might keep mine I'm just looking at it and it is so so beautiful there's something about this kind of faux tortoiseshell vibe that is really really elegant and yeah I'm just looking at it now kind of debating in my mind if I should keep it or if I should return it uh and I think I'm gonna keep it <laughs> now back in my heyday in my teens I had this amazing I think it was Alice and Olivia denim dress that I wore to Mykonos way back when the first time i ever went to mykonos over 10 years ago i will post a picture of it here it does not fit me anymore sadly this was skin tight back in the day and i still actually have the dress because i love it so much but my sister and i neither of us fit in it it's a real piece of material now however i was browsing on my teresa and there was this incredible incredible denim one shoulder dress it really reminded me of that dress because it is denim like i just mentioned and it does have that kind of straight cut to it but it's much more updated it has a gorgeous puffy sleeve it's one shoulder and i feel like this is the kind of dress i could wear day or night when the storms finally leave us and it is spring <laughs> even though all the pink blossoms are actually here on the trees right now so spring is coming people but i feel like when spring actually hits this would be an amazing dress to wear a really versatile dress as well and there's something about a denim dress that is just so dang cool Lueve. has anyone seen that advert Lueve. Lueve, Lueve, they did loads of pre-roll on YouTube <laughs> and I remember seeing it and everyone was saying Lueve, Lueve. I hope I'm saying that right now because I did watch that advert about a hundred times. Not by choice. <laughs> right, this belt has been on my wish list. On my Teresa, you can put a wish list and then it emails you as soon as something is back in stock, which is amazing. So as soon as that item comes back, I get a little sweet little email, your item is back and I'm like <laughs> And it does the same thing if something's on your wish list and it's about to be sold out. This belt really reminds me of Hermes belts actually. I much prefer the buckle on the Lueve belts because I feel like the H Hermes is very, very branded and very obviously Hermes, whereas the Lueve one is 
much more of an intricate little detail that's their kind of logo and it almost looks like a really beautiful butterfly it is reversible it's black on one side and this gorgeous camel on the other side i think this is a great great staple i don't have that many belts in my wardrobe and as i wear a lot of jumper dresses belts are perfect for me i feel like right now i'm just wearing this black body i feel like i would wear this belt really well with just this body and jeans hello did you want to come join us so sweet little face. Now, Rixo is a brand that I have always kept an eye on. I remember falling in love when they first came out with these amazing sequin dresses, which was so beautiful, and I still have mine, obviously. However, I always keep an eye on them and see what new things they have because I love their designs and I love their style. There is a lot of new Rixo on My Teresa. What I love about My Teresa is that it has such a great mix of contemporary brands and more designer high-end brands. So, this was a new top I had my eye on from Rixo. As you guys know, I love stars. And I felt like this was, again, a really versatile piece. You'll notice a lot about me and the things I buy is that I love pieces I can wear day to night. And I felt like this top was one of them. If I was going to a more chilled meeting or if I was going to a lunch event. And then again, I could dress it up in the evening with leather pants and heels as well so that's a lot of the kind of things I look out for in my shopping now especially when I'm shopping more consciously things that I feel like my wardrobe are missing or things that I feel like I could get a lot of wear out of lastly a self-portrait dress now I have had my hits and misses with my leopard pieces and this almost ticked the leopard print box for me although it isn't leopard colored however I just fell in love with the style of it. This is a beautiful little self-portrait dress. This style on me is my absolute favorite kind of dress. What I love about it and what really drew me to it was this ruching effect on the boob area and how it kind of crosses over your bust area. And then you have that gorgeous little bit here that cinches you in at the waist and the beautiful 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 plissé flowing skirt this is my ideal ideal style of dress it is my absolute favorite i just find it the most flattering on my body shape it really elongates my legs it makes my bust area look much more flattering and i feel really really confident in it as well i don't always feel confident in skin tight dresses i feel like i need to be in the mood to wear them whereas a dress style like this i feel like i'm always always in the mood to wear and i have a couple of engagement parties coming up and i feel like this would be perfect perfect for that so i hope you've enjoyed this whole video all the links and sizes to everything i mentioned will be in the information box down below as well as anything else you could possibly need from me what makeup i'm wearing and stuff like that i am currently away at soho farmhouse i'm getting back to london today so if you want to see what i'm up to right now you can go and follow me on instagram at amelia liana and i will see you next sunday with another video Mwah. thanks for watching guys bye